mail time. It's mail time in my studio. First thing I've got here is a brand new uh, square reader for my iPhone. Of course, a lot of good this is going to do once the, I get the iPhone 7. But hey, maybe there's a there'll be an adapter for that. I have stickers, and there it is. So if I if anybody wants to buy one of my pieces of art and we're face to face. I can use this to accept credit card payments. I've already got the Stripe account set up. So the other day I was listening to one of my favorite YouTube channels about making art, since I'm on a mission to learn how to be a, a better artist. And that channel is from uh, artist Stefan Bauman. And he talked about a unique tool, uh, a proportional divider, he called it. So that's what this should be. In fact, this is the very one he talked about. So I ordered it from Amazon. Stefan Bauman is his channel. So anyway, it's called a proportional divider. So, and there it is. I guess it could double as chopsticks, right? So let's say I wanted to draw my thumb. I want to get the dimensions correct. So there's the top of my thumb. And on my canvas, it would be that arch. That'd be a big thumb. And I can adjust uh, the size is here. Yeah, I don't know too much about these things, but um, it seemed like an interesting idea. So I think I'll give it a try. So anyway, thank you, Stefan. Really appreciate that tip. I'll have a link for this. And if you look in the uh, description for this video, you'll see a uh, affiliate link for this. Next up is a book. I saw this book several years ago and I wanted to buy it. I put it on my wish list and then it went out of print, wouldn't you know? It's called The Tuscan, The Painter's Practice in Renaissance Tuscany. Uh, it's a rather dense book, but it has a lot of beautiful illustrations in it. Let's see here. like so. Front, back. Now this one's not in great shape. The cover's all beat up. But you know, I only paid uh, $7, I think, for this. Whereas uh, all the other copies are extremely expensive. I don't know why. I guess because it's out of print. So it's not the best quality copy, but for seven bucks, hey, why not? Ooh, look at this. Ah, another book I've been wanting to get. Hello Prima. This one's by uh, Al Guri, A Contemporary Guide to Traditional Direct Painting. I think this... I'm looking forward to reading this and putting into practice what I learned here. It's beautiful. Ala Prima, a contemporary guide to traditional direct painting by Al Guri. I think I only paid $8 for this, and it lists for $35. So sometimes you can find some pretty good deals on Amazon. Of course, you know, the last video I did was about looking for art books in Goodwill stores. So you can get sometimes even better deals there because the most expensive book you have get in a Goodwill store is $2 and 92 cents for a hardback like this. So there it is. Now you can see in the background I've been working on a painting. Uh, it's kind of a western theme which is a topic I like a lot in my art. It's oil paints. Uh, it's, it's a relatively new endeavor for me because I think it's like the third or fourth painting I've done using uh, gambling colors, artist colors. 
Gamblin Artist Oil Colors. And I'm just now getting used to the way they work. I'm learning how to use the mediums. Before that, I was using uh, Winsor and Newton uh, uh, water mixable oils. And it's a, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different ball game. I'm not used to working with mediums like the uh, Gamsol, the, the Galkid, Galkid Light, uh, and the various mediums that come with that. So that you can use in oil painting. So I'm learning how to use those mediums. I also got some Gamvar and I've been varnishing some paintings. It's long overdue. Oh yeah, one other thing I've done in the studio. I have uh, updated my website. I've, I've cleared out a lot of my inventory in my house. It was time to put these paintings up for sale. A lot of them are older works that I've done. I'm working on a new series that I'll be putting, putting up on the website before long, but uh, a lot of these are older paintings. I just learned how to set up the e-commerce part of Squarespace. So I'm using Squarespace for my website. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, it's, it's relatively simple to set up. So I've got that gallery, my product gallery set up and it's ready to take orders. So if you'd like to buy one of my paintings, you can go to creativemethod.tv and click on the tab that says art for sale. Well, that's it from my studio. Go out there and create something amazing.